All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. So, um, fun fact, I have one of the lost critters already. I didn't realize this. I was looking through my items to see if I could find any way to make the flower thing happen. And I have a critter. So that's one. Um, I just need to find more critters. So that's something. Um, now as for how to go forward, um, I don't know, I'm gonna go talk to Zinnia. <laughs> no wait, this is not Zinnia's house. Where was Zinnia's house? I'm lost. I thought this was her house, but I'm... I think I have to take a warp to it. I think yeah, it's like there's some sort of secret super warp to her house. No, that's not it. Hey, it's Fakazu. Welcome, Fakazu. How are you doing? No, not Green Ridge. Was that the warp to it? Was this the closest I can get to her house? Do I have to go through the whole cavern again? Oh, I have to go through a whole cavern again, don't I? Gosh darn it. Damn it. Alright. I will go. So I think uh, I think I missed something with her. No, get away from me, you stupid little dude! I'm trying to climb a rope here. So let's look. I have. Do I have a map for this? Mm. No, I don't have a map for this place. So I just have to use my brain. I think that was the bolt. Okay, yeah, that was a bolt. So that's not it. So I go up here. Nephews came to visit. My body asks for sweet release from this mortal coil. <gasps> uh oh. <laughs> You have been released. You may you may send your spirit off into the other world. Ugh. Listen, Molkar, I like you, but I'm on a mission here to like figure out what I'm doing, and uh, that means I cannot talk to you right now. I'm sorry. I have to make decisions about who I hang out with, and uh, my decision this time was uh, we can't hang out right now. I said we can't hang out right now, dude. I'm sorry, I know, it's sad, but it's just how it is. <laughs> Sacrifices, Fakazu. <laughs> Goodbye, Fakazu. <laughs> oh yeah, wasn't there- I think there was a secret in there that I forgot to check for. Wait, hold on. Was this the way to our house? Damn it! Did I miss it? Where is this? I did miss it. Where is her thingy? Oh, it's over here. Ugh, I'm so dumb. I could have just taken the warp over. For the Kurt cult, it would be an honor. Zinnia! Zinnia! Yes? Um, About that extra credit. So what was that extra credit assignment you had in mind for us, Zinnia? Oh, I'm glad you asked. I, if you're interested, just step into the other room right to the right. The door is open now. All right. Um, which way is right? This one. Wait. Wait, I already been here. Hmm. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. I'm worried about, like, there being some sort of, like, um, soft lock in my game. I 
need paladin training. Of course, shoot. Do you think it could help me train? Hmm. Well, I could try, but I think you'd be better off getting help from someone who knows more about your chosen specialization. Well, I'm an amorous paladin, so I guess I need a relationship expert? I thought someone was keeping an eye on you two, actually. Beverly, I believe it was, from the restaurant in Greenridge. Oh, that's right. Beverly did say something about that the other day. Oh, thank you for the pat-pats. I should go talk to her then. Thanks, Anya. Time, dear. Um... Anything else you think we should be doing? Um... Okay. Fortune teller. Okay, full disclosure, guys. So, I did look up if I'm, like, what I need to make those flower br bridges crossable. And apparently I'm supposed to have a spell for it. But the thing is, I don't have it. Like, I don't have the spell. And I was like, okay, well, where do I get it? Did I, did I, is there a quest I need to do? And the thing said that Zinnia gives it to me. But, like, I talked to her last time and she didn't give it she didn't give me a spell i don't have the spell that she was supposed to give me so um i am very concerned that there is something i was supposed to do Oh, that well. There we go. We got the meant, we got the stuff for Jody at least. That's that's something I did right. But I'm very concerned, guys. That like uh, that I'm like soft block somehow. Yeah, and the unfortunate thing is because this is like a newer game, there isn't like a very detailed guide. So, when I was, like, trying to look up what I'm missing, like, I, it just, like, someone just vaguely stated, you need Bloom. And I'm like, okay, uh, how do I get Bloom? Zinnia gives it to you. Okay. When? How? It's nothing specific. <laughs> just, you're supposed to get it from her. That's, you're supposed to do, you're, complete the quest line with her, and then she'll give it to you. And I'm like, that doesn't help me. Did I complete the quest line? She's obviously not talking to me anymore. <laughs> so, I am in fact very concerned that um, I am soft locked somehow. I'm gonna try to talk to Beverly because Zinnia told me to go talk to Beverly. And hope that's the correct way to go, the correct thing I'm supposed to do. But... Otherwise, I don't know, maybe she wants us to fight all the bosses again? She has a simulator. That doesn't feel correct. But maybe she wants us to do all the bosses again, and then she'll give me the spell? Um, it's not particularly clear. <laughs> None of the spell books have it either, so it's definitely not that. Hi, um... Hi, Beverly. This might sound weird, but, uh... Well, you remember how you said you were kind of looking out for me and Allison? Because Melody's an amorous paladin, her magic literally comes from her faith in the power of love. Of course! That kind of news is hard to forget. Well, I was wondering if you might be able to help us with that. I'd be happy to, but why? Oh, wait. Oh, no. You two didn't have a fight, did you? No, no, no. Well, okay, we may have had a disagreement. We worked it out, though. Or we're working it out. Don't worry about that. I just really need to make sure I'm at the top of my game, magic-wise. I'd be honored to help. That is, if you're absolutely sure you want to be this type of paladin, and you also have an afternoon free. Definitely! Well then, I think the solution is obvious. 
You and Elsa need to have an all work, no play lately. That'll get to anyone. You need to go on a date. But not just any date. Leave the details to me. I'll set up the most romantic date ever for the two of you. You know, that does sound like a nice change of pace. We never really got to finish that casual date we were on the other day before. Well, everything. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect, Beverly. Terrific. I'll make the necessary preparations. All right, here we go. Date incoming. Soon. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, wow. You really outdone yourself, Beverly. Yeah, this ambiance is super impressive considering it's the middle of the day. Thanks, Claire. It's an illusion spell I borrowed from her. Or thank Claire. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. She's been teaching me a few spells, actually. Wow, you two just started dating and she's already sharing her spells with you? That's how you know it's true love. <laughs> well, well, please, have a seat. Wait, hold on. Jody, cue the music. <laughs> Are they in the bushes or something? Champagne? Ew, fancy. Makes me wish we dressed up for this. I was going to suggest that, but Claire said... Uh, that you should probably be prepared for monsters, just in case. Since things are still weird out here. We're taking care of them, though. It's fine. I'm not sure I don't need clothes for a fancy date anyway. Me neither. Most of my favorite outfits are tailored more for punk shows than fine dining. I'm also not sure I'd be able to tell good champagne from bad champagne. I can get you something else if that's preferable. Something non-alcoholic, maybe? Just water's fine. Ditto. We probably got work to worry about after this. Right. I'll be back with two waters. Oh. Nope. She can teleport? Well, I don't know about you, but being back here on another date has me in a nostalgic mood. Our first date was only a few months ago, but with everything that's happened this week, it feels like it's been a lot longer. Wait, hold up. Hold up a second. <laughs> hold up one second. I I didn't know they've only been dating for a few months. Not to like, not to put a stopper on this or anything. Not to like, you know, they're de they're definitely cute together. Um, I thought they were dating for much longer though. <laughs> Maybe the whole amorous paladin thing was a bad idea. <laughs> oh well, it's too late. I'm committed. <laughs> I feel you there. It was a great night, though. Definitely one to remember. What was your favorite part? <laughs> Spending time with you. Proceed with caution. <laughs> that is so sappy. It's the truth, though. I probably would have been happy any place you decided to take me. I'd never been on a date with anyone before. I was just so excited that it was happening at all. True. Things were simpler back then. Simpler isn't always better, though. We've had some rough patches lately. But I was always also super nervous about trying to impress you back then. Oh god, me too. Really? For sure, I was totally afraid I'd blow it. But we were both just overthinking it. It's not like we were starting over from square one. People always say your partner should be your best friend, right? And I still think of you as my best friend. We're also- we're just also days dating now. Exactly. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. It's gonna be a bit longer, I'm afraid. Seems like a monster may have gone into the cooler where we're keeping the drinks, and Do you need help with that? Yeah, the monsters around here are pretty low tier, wouldn't be- No, no, Claire and Jody have it under control. This is supposed to be your perfect night out, remember? Day. Don't worry about work. Just have a nice time for the sake of your amorous paladin magic. But I know, forget I said. I'm gonna go check on them. Be back in a jiff! <laughs> the, the look into the camera. <laughs> Kinda hard to force having a nice time, huh? I think we already were, though. Man, now I'm just in the mood to reminisce. 
I think back to sometimes that time in high school after I came out when you and Faith took me to the thrift store to look for girlier clothes. I was completely mortified and worried that taking those first steps would complicate things. That me being trans would be the elephant in the room with all my relationships. But you made me feel safe. That meant the world to me. It's still one of my happiest memories, I think. You've always been there for me. That's part of the reason why I wanted to be there for you as the team's healer. You've always supported me too, though, Mel. Other kids picked on us in elementary school, so we held had each other's backs. I always felt that I had to try really hard to impress other people, and it usually backfired. But around you, I could just be... me. We made a good team. And thus, the most powerful alliance in the history of Green Ridge was born. Hey, speaking of jerks we knew in school, do you remember that guy, Thad, who liked to give us grief in middle school? Fortunately, yeah. Whatever happened to him? Judging from his post, he's gone all in on some MLM pyramid scheme thing. He's hawking protein powder that claims it'll make you a Sigma male. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, what a dick. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to say that word. <laughs> I should have censored it. <laughs> what a duck. <laughs> Here we are, two waters. Now about the main... <laughs> I'm sorry, he just slipped down. <laughs> I was just reading, okay? <laughs> what was that noise? Be right back, sit tight, lovebirds. This illusion is kind of messing with my head. Still feels like a warm summer day even if it looks like nighttime. <laughs> yeah, I miss the snow up at Zinnia's place. You were always more of a winter person. I wonder if Zinnia would be cool with us crashing at her place for a little winter retreat. I've always wanted to try snowboarding. Why don't we go now? Are you not feeling this date? I'm enjoying our chat, but everything else is kind of a disaster. I appreciate the efforts our friends are going to, but it feels kind of... forced. Anywhere else you'd like to go? The beach, maybe? Maybe. But I don't know, I've never been the biggest fan of the beach. Recent events also make the beach seem less appealing right now. Right. Sorry. Beverly, are you sure everything's okay? Yes, totally fine! Nothing's gonna get in the way of your perfect date. It just seems like you're having a lot of trouble. We feel bad putting you through all this. Okay, looks like it's time to pull out the big guns. Oh, Beverly looks serious. You mean the food? No, a monster ate the food. Bring out the Cupid! What? Who? What? Uh. <laughs> uh, Claire? Claire, what did Beverly promise you to get you in an outfit? <laughs> well, Allison, you want to get out of here? Way ahead of you. Hold on, are you sure? We can still salvage this. I really do appreciate everything you've done here, Beverly, but I don't think we need to go to all this effort. We don't need the perfect date. We just enjoy each other's company. That's what makes a date special. Well done, Melody. And scene. Wait, was this all staged just to teach us that lesson? Okay, no it wasn't. <laughs> I was like, wow, Beverly Big Brain? Beverly 4D Chess? It really did go wrong. But I wanted to try and turn it into a teachable moment since you came to me for help with your training. And look, you two are getting along great! I'd say that was a mission accomplished. I'd say so, too. Thanks, Beverly. No problem. Oh, and also, since my job's done here- my job- Bleh. Since my job's done here, I need to get something off my chest. You know, Amber's Paladin sounds kinda- <laughs> So, right? Oh, thank god, someone finally said it. <laughs> Listen, I didn't name it that, okay? That's what the the RPG named it. 
The word has multiple connotations. It has the same root word as enamored. Hello? Okay, okay, I see your point. Sorry, just wanted to clear that up. Okay, we're leaving now, bye. That hit the spot. Yeah, this is more like it. This is me. This is how I enjoy dates. Just kind of casually having a good time together. It's nice to just have one hour of normalcy after all that's happened. You said it. My job here is done. But you didn't do anything. <laughs> hey, since we have a moment alone, can we talk? We've been talking. I mean about, you know, what happened the other day. I know you said we'd deal with it later and I respect that, but I still feel bad. I just don't want to have that fight hanging over our heads for the rest of our lives. Wow, already so sure you want to spend your whole life with me, huh? M maybe. Although, admittingly, I'm still not sure whether or not the rest of our lives is going to be longer than a few days right now. Allison, it's okay. Really. It was one fight. Honestly, it's probably good that we had it. You think so? I think before, I was worried that what we have is too good to be true, and that if I wasn't careful, I'd ruin it. We were walking on eggshells around each other, and it only made things worse. But, well, we got it off our chest, and we're still here. That makes sense. I don't know. I still got a lot of thoughts to sort out, I guess. I don't quite know how to word it. Me too. I don't expect either of us to be perfectly eloquent in circumstances like this. But I'll be there when your head's clear. Likewise, Mel. Now let's get back out there and save the world. Right. Verena waits. Yay! Spread the love. That's still not the spell I need! But it's, uh, helpful. Okay, let's go talk to the fortune teller. Maybe the fortune teller can tell me what I need to do. Give me a hit, damn it. I'd like some advice on what to do next. The real spell was the friends we made along the way. Isn't that just love? <laughs> and we all know love is the strongest magic. Yes, here we go. With my infinite power, the crystal ball reveals what you must do. You now have the ability to unlock your true potential, or at least some special doors. Leave no stone unturned. Seek out those doors and follow the golden rule of finders keepers. Can you be more specific? There are multiple dragon key doors out there. Fine, fine. Go to the northwest corner of Amber Woods. The thing you need is there. Happy? Thank you, that is very helpful. Okay. To Amber Woods we go. So, northwest. There is a door there, but how do I- Okay, I guess I'll just go to those the stupid flower bridge and maybe the prompt to finally open that will be there. Let's go! Wee! The strongest force in the universe, only second to Hulk mania. <laughs> Allison, look, it's our tree! Oh cool, we did it on a date a couple months back. One of the first dates we went on, actually. Wow, a hike to the woods? Way to splurge on your girlfriend, Allison. Claire, if you grew up here, you'd know that the Amber Woods are one of the most beloved romantic destinations on the Sapphire Islands. And also, it was free. She's a keeper, Melody. Well, I thought it was a good date. It's nice out here. Admittedly, there's also usually no monsters. What's with the plaque with your initials on it, though? Well, the Amber Woods are a national park, so they don't want people carving their names in the trees. But like Allison said, couples love coming here and the tourism board wants to encourage that. So as a compromise, they just let people buy plaques to dedicate specific trees around the park to each other, as opposed to carving them up. And now the tree next to the save station is yours forever. Isn't it lovely? 
All right. I don't want to fight you right now. Go away. I'm looking for flower bridges. It reminds me of people putting padlocks on bridges and other stuff. So many padlocks. Yeah, it was a severe problem. No! <laughs> oh. I don't have the spell. Zinnia never gave it to me, game. Am I soft lock? I swear, I'm I'm confused. How am I supposed to like Yeah, they have this thing where usually um they clear up the padlocks like after a certain amount of time. Because this is a small amount of padlocks is fine. But eventually they do need to clear up the padlocks because otherwise, you know, um, they start to like really make the bridge heavy. Uh, you've probably seen the story about like the love bridge where they had to take off all the locks because it like collapsed from the weight. You've not heard of that. Yeah, look it up. Just look up Lock Bridge Collapse on Google and you probably will see the story. There are so many of these hard trees that I keep thinking one of them will have the secret. And it's never true. Yeah, they installed removable panels too, so if people did, they didn't have to cut the locks, just replace the panels. Oh, that's handy. Okay, I am so confused. The game is telling me that I need to go to that one thing. Wait a second. Wait, I can go there. I can go there without the flower bridge. I can read maps. Hold on. Hold on. I there is a way over there, it looks like. If I go this way. There it is! The spell I needed! Oh finally! Okay. All it took was me being able to read a map. <laughs> finally! Melody is me! Got, if you need any proof, <laughs> if you need any proof that Melody is me, this is it. The same reaction. The same exact reaction. Finally! Gosh! You've been seeing those flowers and bodies of water all over the place for days. No suspiciously placed plant can send her away now. God. Thank you, game. <sighs> Thank you, crystal ball of magic. I again, like I did. I was just looking at the map, and I'm like, oh, there's another stupid flower bridge right there. I can't go then. I like the top corner, but I'm like, wait a second. I can go from the other side. I'm so smart. <laughs> oh my god, bloom! Finally. Finally, I can cross these stupid bridges. <laughs> now I get to explore a whole new part of this map. Ow. <laughs> Thanks, Wes. Oh, I will take a sippy. Thank you for the sippy. Can you guys guess what I'm drinking today? This part of the woods is very glitchy. Oh, there's a secret passage here. 
a short while ago. Personally, I was going for something more. Oh, hello, boys. What brings you here? Father, we are bored. Cold brew? Interesting guess, but no. Water? You know, you guys should know I never drink water. I, I, I'm never that healthy. Very. Yep. My queen, do you think now is the time? I think it is. Our guest of honor have yet to RSBP. Let's bring a bit of the party to them. Do you remember where your targets are located, boys? Yes, father. Excellent. Go make me proud, boys. Capri Sun. Oh, God. I cannot drink Capri Sun after a terrible incident that happened to me many years ago. I can no longer drink Capri Suns after that incident. <laughs> what happens? Okay. I thought they were supposed to wait for us. I guess they got tired of waiting like Paula before them. Hmm. I mean, ultimately, if we stop Arena, that will solve everything, right? But I bet whoever is in here has some pretty good loot. Sons of Jabus. I will save. What did you do in the war? <laughs> they suck now anyway. They added a replacement sweetener because people complained and now they're just horrible. Okay, I'm gonna come back to that. I needed to look- I wanted to look for the critters. Um, so... Here's the story of what happened. So, um, I believe this was, like, either my junior or senior year of high school. Um, a lot of stuff about what you need. <laughs> Where's the story time redeem? Uh, I ran out of, uh, being- I'm not able to come up with stories on the spot. So I decided I'm just gonna let the stories naturally come when- whenever they're relevant. Like right now, the Capri Sun story is very relevant. <laughs> So, it was like junior, senior, uh, year of high school. And there was, um, I don't know if, like, you've ever been, like, told very unclear things about what you need to do get, to get into college. That was my high school experience. Like, I never quite knew exactly what I'm supposed to, like, have done to get, to, like, be accepted to college. They gave us like a vague list of requirements that's like, okay, you need to have like three language skill classes or something like that. Or sorry, not like you need to have like taken like two language classes. You need to like have 30 hours of volunteer work. You need to have blah, 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 blah. So I thought that like uh, volunteer work was very important for like uh, getting accepted to college. I don't actually remember them ever really asking me when I applied for college about my volunteer work. Like, I'm pretty sure maybe if you apply for scholarships, it's more applicable. But even then, it really depends on the scholarship. Most scholarships are merit, like based on like if you qualify, for, like uh, I don't know if you were in a certain club or if you're from a certain minority group or stuff like that. I was never really asked about my volunteer hours. I have, like, my volunteer work list on my resume, but otherwise, it wasn't, like, a big thing. But anyway, um, I thought I needed to get a lot of volunteer hours, so I started to, like, uh, do some, uh, ex just some random work. Uh, there was, like, volunteer work websites where you could look for, like, uh, opportunities in your area. It was, like, random stuff, like, uh, one time I helped organize not really really organized but just kind of prepare a local baptist church for a festival they're having it was very weird i don't think they even knew, like they didn't i don't think they knew that they advertised the volunteer work online because i showed up and i was like the only person who wasn't from the church it was very weird they like started off by doing like a prayer thing and i was like um I don't know what, what we're doing. Uh, hello? <laughs> I was very confused. <laughs> Here they don't care. You finish high school, then you pay in your- Yeah, it's- they actually don't care, right? They just want your money. <laughs> 
But uh, I did miscellaneous stuff like that. Working at little fairs, uh, doing other random stuff. One of the volunteer things that I did was working at a food bank. They were looking for people to basically help them stock care packages that they were sending out to uh, various people who uh, were in need of, you know, food supplies, people who didn't have a lot of money. Um, so they send like these packages for their kids to like have snacks in school and stuff. Hello, it's the time room at Load of Work. Hi, Vino. Alone at work, Vino. So basically, it was like this whole operation where we're at this food bank, and they have like these these boxes and bucket boxes filled with like different snack foods. There was uh, there was like Capri Suns. There was high C boxes. There was like uh, Jellos. There was various stuff. And our job was basically to unpack these boxes and to repack them into like care packages. Now I can just have stream open on my computer computer shamelessly. <laughs> Perfect. There's a critter. Look at that. Now we have two critters. Was it called Blessings in a Backpack by chance? Uh, I honestly don't remember if it had a catchy name. Maybe. Oh, you know what? I should take these critters to the Uncanny Valley just so I can get whatever the bonus is from it. I want to see what the bonuses are like and if I should just go and get all the critters. But for real, the biggest gaslight about post high school world, aka adulthood, is literally nobody cares about what you did in high school. Sometimes even if what you did was for college credit. Yeah. <laughs> There's only like... You know they like have these AP classes where they're like, if you take this class then you don't have to take the class in college. That's not always true. There's definitely a lot of colleges that try to like get to like ignore that. They're like, oh sorry, your class actually didn't satisfy the requirements that we have at our college campus. So maybe like two of those classes you did count. And the rest of them you still have to take anyway. So not only did you have to suffer through college level work in high school when you were like very stressed out and trying to enjoy the last bit of your child of your childhood, but um, we don't we're not even gonna take that. You're still gonna pay money for the class because uh, that doesn't count for us. That's what it was when elementary school. I, I used to get them. <laughs> it might have been that. But anyway, so um, getting back to the, the Capri Sun. So that basically was the work. We were just unpacking these things and repackaging them. And I mean, it wasn't bad work. It was uh, just kind of tedious. So you might be wondering, well, what's the problem in this? Did I get so sick of packaging uh, care packages for students that like I hate Capri Sun now? No, that's, that's, not, that's not what happened. So what happened was um, they had a lot of boxes and I think that probably was their issue was that they got so many of these supplies that they didn't really have a way to quality check them in advance. We were kind of the quality control, if anything. Um, one of the boxes of Capri Sun that I opened uh, it was an innocuous box, you know, I wouldn't have known just from opening it that there was something wrong. But uh, when I opened it up, um, some of the Capri Suns that I was pulling out were sticky. And so I was like, oh, I wonder if like one of the packages like burst and like got all over everything. So that's when I started to very carefully like check through them. Hold on one sec. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting all stuffy nose. Hold on, let me just uh, blow my nose really quick. All right, I'm good. <laughs> so I was checking them to make sure that whatever I was packaging didn't have like a hole in it, right? And before that, I wasn't really looking at any of them. I was just kind of like, you know, robotically taking Capri Sun, put in box, continue pass box to next person and onward um you know some of the capri suns they do have clear backs so you can actually see like the color of the juice and stuff 
not all Capri Sun are like that. I think some of them don't have clear blacks anymore. Um, but the ones that I was handling, they did. And when I was looking at them, like the first one that I picked up, and actually I'm pretty sure like most of the Capri Suns in that package, there was like stuff, like some solid substance. Looked like a moss ball, like a little ball of fungus was floating in the Capri Sun. Yeah. Yeah, it was not good. It was not good, guys. <laughs> and as soon as I saw that, um, yeah, no, their quality control was bad. I was like, oh my god. How many Capri Suns did I touch and pack that had this issue? <laughs> It was bad, guys. And I just, like... I was just thinking, like, uh... This one was clear, so I was at least able to see it. But what if it wasn't clear? Like, what if this was, like, one of those packages that was, like, totally solid? And I had no idea that I was drinking, like, this fungus-infected Capri Sun. <laughs> that I, I did let them know. I was like, hey, listen, uh, this pack, this box of Capri Suns is uh, bad. Like, uh, I showed them and they were like, oh, okay, we'll take this box out. And I was like, hey, by the way, you should probably just tell everyone, like, hey, double check the food you're packing. In case this is, like, not the only box. And I know, like, I told the people around me, hey, this Capri Sun was, there was some bad Capri Sun in my box. Uh, you probably should double check your boxes, too. I don't know how many people really listened to me, though. And it's kind of like, it was this thought of, like, I know I cared, but I don't know how much everyone else cares. Like, they, like, we got this box. Yeah, like, we got this box here. They didn't, you know quality control this one how bad is this problem so um yeah after that i really just could not bring myself to have capri sun anymore i am so sorry halo <laughs> so sorry my mom was like very confused about it too like i was all of a sudden like mom can i just have something else can i just give me water bottles <laughs> Give me a water bottle and flavoring. I think she was like, oh, you're being healthy. Good, good job. I was, <laughs> no, no, I'm just traumatized from Capri Sun. <laughs> I can still like remember it clearly how it looked in that package. I'm so sorry, Halo. Were they clear? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Halo. But you did ask me. <laughs> I remember, I think I did talk to my dad about it too afterwards. And he was like, well, maybe it wasn't fungus. Maybe Capri Sun just does that. And I was like, that doesn't make me feel better. <laughs> That doesn't make me feel better, Dad. I don't know which story I'd prefer. If Capri Sun can naturally just clump up like that. Or if that was like fungus in it. I don't know what I would prefer. <laughs> we never did come to conclusion- Oh! Uh, I'm drinking a strawberry lemonade refresher from Starbucks. Sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> it's from Starbucks. It is from Starbucks. <laughs> you need to get something from Starbucks. Okay, Halo. I may have ruined Capri Sun for many people today. <laughs> Now you can feel my pain. Technically, the answer is more correct than anyone wants to admit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is It is cold. It has uh, caffeine in it. It is Starbucks. 
It has many characteristics that are correct. One day we found a bottle of those cheap artificial juice made mostly of sugar. My friend poured a glass of it without looking. He looked at me funny and checked the bottle. It was expired for years and the thing had a strong alcohol-like smell. Ugh. Bad. Do not like. Let me some S-Bucks. <laughs> Oh, is this another one of the Javis' sons? That must be. Okay, so we're finding uh, all the flowers probably will lead us to Javis' various sons. So us to fight and conquer. Oh, good. Oh, you know what? I should make that an, an, an alias. Alias? Alias. That's the word. I can- I can speak words. I should make that an alias. It's just QOD. <laughs> there you go. Do you like to cook or do you like to eat? Yes. <laughs> you like both. You know, that's fair. If I could make food, I would definitely be happy with my life. Because then I can make all the food I want to eat, right? Oh, I should probably heal myself. Oh. Um... Like cooking, baking, all of it. I will say, I like cooking more than baking. I can only bake like three things. Mina says, I cook and things go wrong. I burnt ra- You burnt ramen? What did you do? Leave it on the stove for forever? <laughs> Mina. <laughs> but my non-internet friends and I go on food adventures regularly. Mew cooks me food more often than he wants to admit, and it's good. Anamar, you need to like take pictures of Mew's food and post it in the snackies. That way we can have verifiable proof. Then Vino cannot deny it. Glitchy? What do you, what do you mean you burn soup? You burn soup? Oh goodness, you guys. You guys are killing me here. This... Gosh. Oop. Uh, well, I did not mean to hit that button. <laughs> I was just trying to hit something on my touchpad and whoops. <laughs> I got shrunk for just a quick second. <laughs> Free TV Wham, let's go. <laughs> surprise TV. I was very surprised when that happened. That is very true. Halt! Hello? Oh, hello. Oh, a fellow hero healer. Perfect. We're not really looking for a fight, so... No! I have renounced my ways as a healer. The queen is up ahead, and only those who are truly worthy may have an audience. You must be screened thoroughly. And that duty has fallen upon me, Marina's most faithful follower, her strongest soldier, Okay, no offense, but are you sure about that? It's not Paula? Or the boys, or... You are still so naive. Wait, I did... Huh? 
Oh no, she has a gun. And that is why you are not ready. Uh... I didn't come- I didn't know there was a boss fight here. I thought there was an item here. Think you got what it takes? Only your strongest star power attacks could possibly get through my armor. And no spellbooks either. Come on, we have everything you got. Oh my goodness. I did not expect to come fight her. Uh, well, awesome. I was just expecting to get an item and then take a break. We're still going to do the break because why not do this cliffhanger? But don't you worry, guys. We'll come back and uh, destroy this jelly. Or maybe this jelly this pro jelly will probably destroy us, TBH. <laughs> but uh, we will come back in just a second. Stay tuned.